Hey everyone, it's Dr. Nina at the Barefoot Rehab Clinic. So right now I'm going to draw for you the actual track of the median nerve from where it originates in your spine all the way to your hand, to your fingers, okay? So what we have first is some spinal nerve roots that come right from your spine. C5, C6, C7, and then we also have contributions from C8 and T1 nerve roots. They come out of your spine kind of like that. And then they travel independently like this. And then these two come together to form the median nerve itself, right in your armpit. And then it travels down that medial side of your arm there until it crosses at your elbow. And then when it crosses at your elbow, it kind of goes into the middle of the forearm. And then it tracks a little bit closer to your thumb. And then it goes through the carpal tunnel and then it innervates into your hand, right? So that is the track of the median nerve as it goes down your arm. As you might have guessed, there are several places the median nerve can then become entrapped. So it can become entrapped at any of the exits of the spinal nerve roots in the spine, potentially, okay, in your neck. Then it can become entrapped as they come together through some of your muscular tissue here, also in your neck. And then a big one where it can become entrapped is right there in your armpit, right here in your armpit, okay? And then the next place it could potentially become entrapped is at your elbow. And then something that's not frequently talked about is that the median nerve often becomes entrapped here in the forearm at a muscle called the pronator teres. Um, there are actually surgeries that surgeons will go ahead and do to peel the adhesion off of the pronator teres and off of the median nerve so the median nerve can glide smoothly through the forearm. And then, of course, like we have already talked about, is that it can become trapped here at the carpal tunnel. So as you can see, the median nerve is a huge and long nerve that travels all the way from your spine to your fingertips, the whole way, spine to fingertips. So because it travels so long in your body, there are several places where the median nerve can become entrapped. So frequently when people are complaining of having median nerve symptoms, but they're not getting treat or they're not getting um, good results from the traditional treatment of median nerve therapy, uh, which science has actually shown to be very effective when it's traditional carpal tunnel syndrome, then it's very logical to then look at these other places where the median nerve may then become entrapped so that we can find the root cause of the median nerve symptoms. So uh, thanks and keep on reading the blog and learn some more about the median nerve and the carpal tunnel. Thanks, bye.